In this problem, we are given the function y equals x cubed minus 3x squared, and we have to find the equation of the tangent line at the point of inflection. So, this is a cubic function, and I will start by sketching the graph. The graph is a smooth curve that falls to the left and rises to the right. This function has only one point of inflection, and this is the point where the function changes the concavity. For this particular graph, to the left of the point of inflection, the graph is concave down, but to the right, the graph is concave up. Now, through this point, let's draw a tangent line. So here we have the tangent line, and notice that the point of inflection is one of the few points where the tangent line crosses the graph. Now, to find the equation of this line, we need the coordinates of the point of inflection and the slope of this tangent line. Once we have them, we will use the point-slope form y minus y1 equals m, which is the slope, times x minus x1. So, let's start by finding the coordinates of the point of inflection. For this specific function, at the point of inflection, the second derivative is equal to zero. So, to find the second derivative, first we will write down the function y equals x cubed minus 3x squared. Then we will find the first derivative, which is y prime equals 3x squared minus 6x. And we do this by moving each exponent in front, then decreasing each exponent by 1. So here we moved 3 in front, and then we decreased this exponent by 1, and we got 3x squared. In the second term, we moved 2 in front, and we multiplied by this 3, and we got 6. Then we decreased this exponent by 1, and now this x has exponent 1. Now we can find the second derivative. And the second derivative is 6x minus 6. Again, we moved 2 in front, and we multiplied by 3, and we got 6. And now this x has exponent 1. And in the second term, x has exponent 1. And if we decrease it by 1, the exponent will become 0. Then x raised to 0 is 1, and 6 times 1 will be 6. Next, we need to know for what value of x the second derivative is equal to 0. So, we will set 6x minus 6 equal to 0, and we will solve for x. Add 6 to both sides, and get 6x equals 6, then x equals 1. And this is the x-coordinate of the point of inflection. Now, to find the y-coordinate of the point of inflection, we will take this value and we will replace it in the initial function. Then we will have y equals 1 cubed minus 3 times 1 squared, which equals negative 2. So this is the y-coordinate, and now we can say that the coordinates of the point of inflection are 1, comma, negative 2. In the next step, we will find the slope of the tangent line. We know that the first derivative represents the equation of the slope at any point on the graph. So, we will write it down, y prime equals 3x squared minus 6x. And we know that the x-coordinate of the point of inflection is 1, and to find the slope at this point, we need to replace each of these x's with 1. Then y prime equals 3 times 1 squared minus 6 times 1, which makes negative 3. So we can say that the slope of the tangent line is negative 3. Now we have all the information we need to find the equation of the tangent line. Again, we will use the point slope form, which is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. In this form, m represents the slope, and we will replace it with negative 3. And x1 and y1 are the coordinates of a given point, and they will be replaced with 1 and negative 2. Then we will write y minus, in place of y1, we will write negative 2 equals 
In place of m, we will write negative 3, parenthesis, x minus, and in place of x1, we will write 1. Now, let's simplify and remove the parenthesis, and on the left side, two negatives make a positive, so we will have y plus 2, and on the right side, if we remove the parenthesis, we will have negative 3x plus 3. From here, we can solve for y by subtracting 2 on both sides. Then y is equal to negative 3x plus 1. And this represents the equation of the tangent line that passes through the point of inflection. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, leave a comment, and thank you for watching.